Hello everyone. This video tutorial is to show you how to take um, a video you've created, um, yourself teaching a lesson or just saying hello to your students, and upload it to your school YouTube channel so that you can embed it within your lesson. Now this is my recommended method because it does play right within the lesson. It doesn't have to open in a new tab and all those kinds of things. If you're concerned about putting yourself on YouTube, um, I'm going to show you how to market um, so that it's not found in a Google search or a YouTube search, that only the people who can get to it are the people who have the link to your video, which would be your students in your lesson. So you don't need to worry about that because it'll be um, kind of hidden. So first thing you need to do is make sure you're signed into your school YouTube account. So you're going to go to youtube.com and you're going to come and look here in the top corner. If you're not signed in at all, it'll say sign in and you can click on that sign in with your school credentials. If you do have an icon, an avatar, a profile picture, whatever here, you're going to want to click on it and just confirm that it is your school account. If you have a personal account, um, Gmail or otherwise, and you're using it on the same device, it's really hard to keep the two straight. Um, you may think you're signed into your school account and you're not. So you always want to confirm that, um, especially if you do go back and forth between accounts. Okay, so once you're signed in correctly with your school YouTube account, your school Google account, the next thing you're going to want to do if you've never done so is set up your channel. So right here mine says your channel because I've already established mine. If you have not, it'll say create your channel and you'll click on that and it's just a couple of questions, um, maybe even only one, that it'll walk you through and then it'll tell you your channel is created. Okay. Once you've got yourself signed in and you've set up your channel, the next thing is to go ahead and upload your video. So you're going to do that right here with this little video icon with the plus on it. So you click that, upload video, and then we're going to go find that video file that you've saved to your computer. Now, I do want to go ahead and mention that if you're using any of my recommended programs, which are Screencastify, um, Screencast-O-Matic and Vidyard. Um, all three of those have options to connect your YouTube channel um, to the program so that once you've recorded something in it, you can click a button and it'll go right to your YouTube channel. So um, you have that option as well. But if you've already saved the file to your computer or you just want to do those steps separately, um, you can upload it here. So we'll select the file. You can also drag and drop, by the way. I'm just going to search for a video file here real quick. This one will do just fine. Okay, so once it starts uploading, it's going to start asking you some different questions that you can work on while that upload is happening in the background. So here's the title, how it's going to be named on YouTube. You can put a description in here if you want. Um, it'll take a while before you have any choices of thumbnails that you can choose from, but you can check that. If you're doing anything with playlists, you can create it to a playlist. But here's something really important. You're going to want to say, yes, it's made for kids on that question, and then you'll click next. You can go ahead and skip through this. Um, you can come back to it at any point if you want to. It's something most of you probably won't be doing, but it's where you can add things to the end of your video to you know redirect them to a page or something like that so click next okay here's where it's really important too um, you're going to probably want to make it unlisted you certainly can make it public if you'd like to um, but everyone can find your video if you do that um, if you make it unlisted then they have to have the link to be able to get to it so if you can put that link into your e-learning lesson and your students will be fine but no one's going to be able to find it um, on YouTube or in a Google search. You do not want to choose private because then it won't embed in your S'more lesson um, and you'd have to share it individually with every single person and they'd have to sign in and it creates all kinds of problems if you put it on private. So unlisted is the option that you want here under your publishing settings. Okay, And then you can click save. Now this video is probably not done uploading um, but I've set all of those um, parameters and now it's telling me that there's 22 minutes left um, and once it's done it'll go to that pages video and we can get the URL for that video and embed it in your e-learning lesson. 
So that's the process.